All right. Going to attempt something new. Never tried it before. Not even down there on the easy curl bar. On the easy curl bar, the highest I've done is uh, 60 pounds, right? Easy curl straight bar. But on this brand new machine, they just put this machine here like three days ago. Haven't had a chance to use it. Uh, first time using it. I'm going to try to do 85 pounds off this curl, this, this CD curl machine, right? Uh, I'm going to aim for four reps. Put my max target at eight. Maybe I can do 10, doubt it. I'm just going to aim for four, and I think that'll be great because I've never gotten that high on this type of machine. So 85 pounds, I think that'll be great. Eighty-five pounds. Which would be like forty kilograms. All right, I uh, I counted ten. I was aiming for four, but I'm not going to include the first one because I was seated, so I was using my body weight as a pivot, as a fulcrum to uh, to get the bar up the first time. So I'm not even going to count that one. I'm going to say I did 85 pounds, nine reps. That's a high for me. Uh, I feel it, you know. But uh, but see what happens. I'm trying to get some. I'm trying to get them killer. Them killer monster arms, you know, them auto switching nigger killer jobbies. So we'll see what happens. Like I said, I had to try something new. So instead of doing, you know, rotational uh, body movements, doing this triceps and curls this this day, next day, I'm doing one day, one exercise, high reps, uh, high sets, high sets, high reps, and then. You know, in 30 days or one month, we'll see what my gains look like, determine if I want to tweak that program, you know, change up. I mean, that's the basically thing that you got to do, because other than that, your body's going to get fatigued by doing the same exercises, and you're not going to get the kind of growth that you want. So you're going to have to change it up. So I started doing this, let's say the middle of September 2021, for two weeks so far. You know, I just come in here, I do one exercise, and I'll do high sets, about six to ten sets and then I'll do high reps I'm trying to aim for 10 to 15 reps and from there just call it a day you gonna go over there go go home and eat some low calorie hopefully low calorie food all right I'm still not doing the abdominals if I do these abdominals everything will be monster that's why I'm trying to uh I'm gonna integrate some techniques I learned from uh, Goku pump uh, some techniques, some calisthenics techniques I learned from uh, That's Good Money, um, Scott Bernhard. I was, supposed to, I was supposed to get up this morning and start that Scott Bernhard challenge, but, man, I didn't get to sleep till like 5 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, you know, in order for your muscles to grow, they're gonna, everything's going to happen when you're resting. So I wind up sleeping until like 11 o'clock, which is only six hours of sleep. But remember, you're only going to get your gains and your growth when your body is resting. You know, because you'll, you'll notice that one minute you got a, a certain size t-shirt on and you come out here and you kill it. And then uh, at, at the next month, a month and a half later, this t-shirt doesn't fit. So, you know, I'm trying, I'm not trying to rob myself of sleep, you know, so I don't get my gains, but I got, I got to do that Scott Bernhard thing, you know, the Scott Bernhard challenge. I mean, I like that. All right. 